In a garden of English history where roses grew both red and white, a tumultuous struggle erupted, casting shadows over the realm. This was the War of the Roses, a brutal and complex series of conflicts from 1455 to 1487, which not only shattered the tranquility of England, but also reshaped its monarchy forever. The roots of the War of the Roses can be traced to the intricate web of dynastic rivalry and political discontent that engulfed the English throne in the 15th century. At the heart of the struggle were two powerful houses, Lancaster and York, each symbolized by their respective emblems, the Red Rose and the White Rose. The seeds of conflict were sown during the reign of Henry VI, a Lancastrian king whose weak leadership and mental instability provoked widespread dissatisfaction among the nobility. As Henry's reign faltered, Richard, Duke of York, emerged as a formidable contender, laying claim to the throne through his descent from Edward III. The first significant clash came in 1455 at the Battle of St. Albans, where Yorkist forces scored a decisive victory. This battle set off a series of bloody encounters characterized by shifting allegiances and brutal campaigns. Despite the Duke of York's death in 1460, his son Edward continued the fight, ultimately seizing the throne as Edward IV in 1461. However, the conflict was far from over. The Lancastrians, bolstered by foreign support and internal dissent, mounted several attempts to reclaim the throne, leading to further battles and upheaval. Edward IV's rule saw a temporary lull in the hostilities, but the peace was fragile. The struggle resumed with vigor after Edward's death in 1483, when his brother, Richard III, usurped the throne, sidelining Edward's young sons. Richard's brief reign was marked by controversy and discontent, fueling the Lancastrian cause once more. Enter Henry Tudor, a distant relative of the Lancastrian line, who rose as the new champion of the Red Rose. With a determined force behind him, Henry defeated Richard III at the Battle of Bosworth Field in 1485, a confrontation that marked a decisive turn in the war. The Battle of Bosworth was not just the end of Richard III's reign, but also the beginning of a new era. With Richard's death, and Henry Tudor's subsequent ascension to the throne as Henry VII, the war's most violent chapters came to a close. To solidify his claim and unify the warring factions, Henry VII married Elizabeth of York, thus intertwining the red and white roses into the new emblem of the Tudor Rose. This symbolic union represented not only the end of the War of the Roses, but also the foundation of a new dynasty that would preside over a relatively more stable and prosperous England. The War of the Roses left an indelible mark on English history. It fundamentally altered the landscape of English nobility, decimating many noble families and leading to the rise of a more centralized monarchical power under the Tudors. The war also served as a grim reminder of the perils of dynastic disputes and the devastation wrought by civil strife. In the aftermath, England's monarchy emerged more consolidated, paving the way for the Renaissance and the golden age of the Tudors. In retrospect, the War of the Roses was not just a contest for the crown, but a crucial turning point that redefined the very essence of English royalty and governance. It was a period where the blood of battles watered the roses of history, ultimately cultivating a legacy that would shape the nation for centuries to come.